I am back on my mountain again. First time in three months I've been here. I'm taking a complete gamble on the weather this evening. I've got no idea whether it's going to pay off or not. But either way, I hope you'll enjoy the video. And if you do, and you're new here, don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button before you go and maybe tap the notification bell as well. Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. So I am back on Cabethon de Loro mountain, my local mountain, 20 minutes from home. I haven't been up here for three months and I have really missed this place. I love coming up here uh, and just hiking and, and finding images to shoot. Uh, the last time I was up here was actually almost exactly three months ago because I was up here shooting a video about using the Canon M50, the camera that I'm actually shooting the video on here now, as a landscape photography camera. And it was really, really windy. Well, it certainly got very windy later on. Uh, so I remember it pretty well, and that was the beginning of March. We're now on the 4th of June. Now, so I want to explain what the situation here is at the moment. We've got a bit more freedom to come out and do things, but what I'm doing in terms of going out for a hike and, and landscape photography is kind of classified as my exercise time. Now, there are restrictions on that. I can go out between 6 a.m. and 10 a.m., uh, between 12 p.m. and 7 p.m., or between 8 p.m. and 11 p.m. The periods uh, 10 till 12 and 7 till 8 are reserved for over 70s. Now, to be honest, coming up here is not going to be an issue at any time because I'm not going to run into any vulnerable people up here, I'm sure. But I really want to stick to the rules. I don't want to fall foul of the police here. Um, and so I'm just making sure that I stick to the rules and, and be sensible about it. Originally, I was going to come up here yesterday afternoon and do a circular hike, follow the lower trail along the side of the mountain. It's got a few nice views. Then after a while, you cut uphill and you go uphill for quite a while but you go through some woodland and then that joins up with the upper trail right by one of the ridges and then I was going to walk back along that upper trail back to the car uh, and that's probably about a three three and a half mile hike something like that uh, with uh, a little bit of it being uphill uh, oh now the wind's getting up <laughs> but uh, yesterday afternoon was blue skies roastingly hot and I just didn't think it was a good idea first hike out after you know a long time stuck at home uh, to to push myself in the hot sun the weather forecast for this evening looked interesting lots of heavy cloud during the afternoon but starting to clear as we move up towards sunset the problem with that is sunset tonight is 20 past nine but we lose the sun and lose any light on the scene much much earlier than that and uh, I couldn't really be out until eight o'clock officially so i've decided to come up here and just do the upper trail so that's a a, a bit uphill from where i park the car and then along uh, the upper trail which is actually mostly on a, a sort of steady incline uh, finishing up at uh, where the ridge line is and where the the lower trail would come up and join it and, and hopefully get an image or two along the way um, I've been hiking for about 20 minutes now uh, and the conditions out there are looking potentially interesting. There's still a lot of cloud out there and there's a lot of cloud over the mountain there and up above me. <laughs> but uh, what that's going to do in the next hour I don't know. But I'm going to have to push on and see if I can find a location because as I said I'll lose the light in probably 40 minutes or so so let's get cracking
Okay, so I've got a shot set up here. It's basically this big ridge out in front of me and I'm gonna to have to take the shot now because we're just about to lose the light off of it. And I don't think it'll work so well without the light. Uh, yeah, just about got it, I think. Hopefully the light might come through again in a minute, but it, the sun is just disappearing behind some clouds. Basically, I've got the 70 to 200 lens on at about 84 mil, something like that. Pretty much filling the frame with this ridge. Little bit of sky at the top. There's some trees at the bottom, just kind of framing the bottom a little bit. Uh, F11 and 1 25th of a second. Actually, the light is just breaking through again. Okay, we got one image done. I reckon if the sun's gonna break through again, it's gonna be in about the next 20 minutes. So I'm gonna turn around, start retracing my steps and see if I can find a potential composition looking out towards sunset. I'm not holding out a massive amount of hope though. I don't know how well you can see, but over there behind me, just there, there's some beautiful textured cloud the bottom of the cloud has got sort of like almost like ridged textures in it now if we get some bottom lighting on that as the sun goes down or just after it goes down that could look really nice <laughs> but i've still got to find a composition to use it i'm not seeing anything at the minute but i'll uh, press on what i would dearly love to get is just like a really nice sort of like a single tree or something like that that's not going to happen here because it's all very densely uh, populated with these uh, pine trees but we'll see what we can find okay I think I'm gonna go up on top of that little hill thing there see if I can find a, a view that will work Okay, sky's gorgeous, really dark and moody, but with some gorgeous colours in it. But I've really been struggling to get a composition that's going to work. And even the one that I've got, I'm not 100% sure about. But what I've got is this tuft of, I've got a tuft of grass down in the foreground. That uh, creates my foreground interest and there's some sort of rocky area around it. Then this little hillock or cliff that I'm on drops away. And then out, kind of in the mid-ground, there's actually like a pale area where there's some buildings. It's like a, a, a finca or a little farm or something like that. And then mountains way off in the distance and that dark sky. Very, very contrasty. I've got a three-stop and a two-stop hard-edged ND grad in to hold the sky back. Uh, and that's giving me a two and a half second exposure. Now, the foreground actually isn't that close, but I am focus stacking just to be on the safe side. That might look quite nice.
Okay, that's it. The sun went down about 25 minutes ago now and the colours have pretty much faded from the sky. So uh, I'm going to head back to the car, go home and see what I've managed to get. My first trip into the mountains for three months and I've enjoyed it. It's been a bit rushed, but I've enjoyed it. And I hope you've enjoyed coming along as well. If you have, please consider giving this video a like, hit that thumbs up, giving it a share on social media and uh, leaving me a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, don't forget about subscribing if you're not already a subscriber. And if you are already a subscriber, thank you very much. I appreciate that. As always, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. So thank you very much. And until the next video, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.